Hello everyone. This video will show you how to calculate percent yield. There are several steps. First, you balance your chemical equation. Then, you find your limiting reagent. From that, you can get your theoretical yield, which finally brings you to percent yield. I will go through a quick example illustrating how to find percent yield. Let's look at this equation. Chloroform, CHCl3, and chlorine, Cl2, react to form carbon tetrachloride, CCl4. Let's say we had 25 grams each of CHCl3 and Cl2 react to get 15 grams of CCl4. Now first, we have to balance the chemical equation. If you look here, you can see that this chemical equation is already balanced. So, we can go on to step 2, find your limiting reagent. In order to find the limiting reagent, what you do is you calculate the theoretical yield of CCl4 that you would get from each of the two reagents. Let's start with CHCl3. We have 25 grams of CHCl3. Then we have to get to moles of CHCl3, which we use the molar mass for, 119.37 grams per mole of CHCl3. To get to moles of CCl4, we use our mole ratio, which in this case from the equation is 1 to 1. So 1 mole of CHCl3 to 1 mole of CCl4. Now we're at moles of CCl4. To get to mass, we use our molar mass of CCl4, which is 153.82 grams per mole of CCl4, which gives us 32.2 grams of CCl4 from our CHCl3. Now let's repeat this, but using our Cl2. Let's start. We have 25 grams of Cl2. To get to moles of Cl2, we use our molar mass, which in this case is 70.9 grams per mole of Cl2. To get to moles of CCl4, we use our molar ratio, which in this case, again, from the equation is 1 to 1. So 1 mole of Cl2 to 1 mole of CCl4. Then to get to grams of CCl4, we again use the molar mass of 153.82. And this gives us a theoretical yield of 54.23 grams of CCl4 from our Cl2. Now you can see that the theoretical yield of CCl4 from our CHCl3 is smaller than that from our Cl2. That means our CHCl3 is our limiting reagent. Now let's go on to step 3 which, if you remember, was finding your theoretical yield. It's actually pretty simple. Your theoretical yield in this case is simply the theoretical yield you get from your limiting reagent. So, 32.2 grams of CCl4 is our theoretical yield. Easy as that. Finally, we get to our fourth step, finding percent yield. Percent yield is our actual yield over our theoretical yield times 100. Now, if you remember from before, our actual yield was 15 grams of CCl4, as seen in that equation there, and our theoretical yield was 32.2 grams. So we go actual over theoretical, 15 grams divided by 32.2 grams times 100, which gives us a percent yield of 46.6%. Now you know how to calculate percent yield. Good luck and have fun.